Welcome to a series of tutorials exploring all aspects of Flapjack. Flapjack is an open source, multi-platform application providing interactive visualizations and analysis of high throughput genotype data. Hello, and welcome to this Flapjack tutorial, where we will look into the following topics, data view options and visualization options. Let's recap and look at our current Flapjack visualization. We have imported a genotype file, map file, phenotype file, and a QTL or features file. From our Flapjack project, we can see our genotype scores, our line names, phenotypes, and QTLs along with a phenotype heat map and information panel. There are two data view options available, one genotype view and two chromosome view. Each mode can be accessed from either the view menu or the ribbon icon menu. The genotype view is default and allows for data selection and analysis, which we'll come on to soon and the chromosomes view shows a graphical representation of each chromosome with name, number of markers and chromosome length displayed. Clicking on an individual chromosome reveals a marker density heat map. The remainder of this tutorial video will take place in genotype view. Genotype view has three visualization modes. One navigation mode, two, line mode, and three, marker mode. Each mode can be accessed from either the edit menu or the ribbon icon menu. Navigation mode is self-explanatory. Here we visualize chromosomes, QTLs, phenotypes, and associated information. In navigation mode, there's also a number of visualization menu options available. Genotype scores can be overlaid or removed from the graphical output using the overlay genotypes option. Heterozygotes, homozygous, and missing data can all be highlighted and lowlighted using the highlight option in the visualization menu. Several colour highlight options are available, and many can be useful for checking data without involved analysis. Let's look at an example. In the visualisation menu, select colour scheme and then similarity to line, allele match. Let's select the line we want to compare. For this example, we'll use Oak Hill 1 then click OK. All lines in this project, which have a similar allele to Oak Hill 1, are now coloured green. All alleles which do not match are coloured red. We can see very quickly the areas of the genome which match and do not match this line. Other colour scheme options available are similarity to line genotype, or any match, similarity to parents, which is useful if we are working with a mapping population, similarity to a favourable allele, which we would have specified in the genotype file, and visualising alleles at user specified frequencies. To return to the default view, select the visualisation menu, colour scheme, and nucleotide model. We will now look at the two remaining modes, marker and line modes. Marker and line modes are particularly useful for developing a subset of informative markers and lines for analysis. We may not want all lines present in the project included in a specific analysis. This might be due to either certain lines which are superfluous to a project 
or potentially poorer quality data exists in the project and therefore should be removed. Before we start looking at line and marker mode, it's worth bearing in mind that by default, Flapjack selects all lines and markers automatically. We'll start by looking at the marker mode option. Marker mode is selected in the edit menu or the ribbon icon menu. In marker mode, markers can be deselected by clicking or dragging on specific markers in the genotype view. Now they are removed from our analysis but are visible in the genotype view. It's possible to remove them from the genotype view by selecting the edit menu, clicking the show hide marker option and clicking the hide all the markers that are not currently selected option. As you can see, they will disappear from view and any analysis carried out, but they can be reintroduced at any time by using the same menu options and select restore hidden markers. It is also possible to filter markers in marker mode. Filtering options include missing markers and heterozygous markers. Filtering levels are controlled using the percentage slider and the specific chromosomes can also be selected for filtering. Let's look at an example. If we wanted to filter our data based on missing values, maybe to remove SNPs which have performed poorly in our assay, select the Filter Markers option from the Edit menu and select Missing Markers. Select the chromosomes we want to use for filtering, then using the slider choose the level of filtering required. Lower percentages will be more stringent. Click OK and Flapjack will display the numbers of markers falling into this category. Monomorphic markers can be filtered using the filter menu option. Select the chromosomes we wish to include in this, then hit select. Flapjack will then show the number of monomorphic markers filtered in this project. This will leave only polymorphic markers. Using these options will result in a set of markers suitable for use in our analysis. The same process can be applied to lines by clicking on line mode. Lines can be deselected by clicking or dragging on specific lines in the genotype view. They are now removed from our analysis but are still visible in the genotype view. It's possible to remove them from the genotype view by selecting the edit menu, clicking the show hide line option and clicking the hide all lines that are not currently selected. They will disappear from view and any analysis carried out, but can be in reintroduced at any time using the same menu options and select Restore Hidden Lines. Lines can also be filtered using the Filter Lines option in the Edit menu. Lines can be filtered on missing lines, heterozygous lines and homozygous lines. Filtering levels are controlled using the percentage slider and specific chromosomes can also be selected for filtering. Let's look at an example. If we were working with cultivars or pure breeding lines, we would not expect to see high levels of heterozygosity. Using the edit menu, select filter lines, then heterozygous lines. The following filter option appears. Select the chromosomes that we would like to use in our filtering, then using the slider select our cutoff for heterozygosity. Lower percentages will be more stringent. 
Flapjack will display the number of lines falling into this category. We now have selected markers and lines we would like to take forward for analysis. Please move on to the next tutorial for more information. Thank you for watching and we hope you find this tutorial helpful. Further support can be found within the help menu in Flapjack or by emailing flapjack at hutton.ac.uk